Hi, I'm Kathy Wright, and I have five daughters, two of which are married. One of them is right here. This is Robin Wright Orr. Hi, I attend Brigham Young University in Utah, and I got married last, last August. And I live in Northern California. I'm a partner of Heritage Garment Preservation. We clean and restore heirloom garments, wedding gowns. We also preserve them. Um, and we believe that every special garment, whether it's a wedding dress or an heirloom garment, has a story. And uh, what Robin's dress, her wedding dress, is no different. It has a story, and we're here to tell it to you. So it started last year. Shortly after she got engaged, we ordered a wedding dress direct from China with her exact measurements. It was a beautiful dress. Uh, we had a trip planned to Utah in July, and I planned on bringing the dress with me so we could fit it to her. Unfortunately, the dress didn't show up. And after communicating with the company, uh, we discovered that it wasn't even on its way. In fact, they had never received the payment and had not even started the dress. So we were a little panicky. It's six weeks before the wedding when we discovered this. So we got to Utah. Got to Utah and I was getting nervous. What, yeah, the wedding was six weeks away. And we decided to go shopping and I found a beautiful dress. I wanted a mermaid dress and a lace dress. I found one that was perfect. Thought maybe we should get it, but it was a little out of our price range. We weren't sure if we should get it then. And I also started to wonder if maybe I should just make her dress. I am a seamstress. I made her older sister's dress. Um, and I knew I could do it. Uh, so I, after going home, I did make a mock-up out of muslin of a dress that she, of the dress she really liked, um, in case that was what we should decide to do. But we also decided to order the dress from the company in China. They felt really bad what had happened. They offered to rush the dress through and have it as quickly as possible. So we, we did that as well. And then we waited for the dress to arrive. It arrived the end of July. So with about two, three weeks before the wedding, the dress came, I tried it on, and I just wasn't a huge fan. You know, it wasn't lacy, it was just not the best quality. I wasn't really excited for it, and just um, really just kind of let down and frustrated. It was, just, it was just not what I wanted. Yeah, and so she kind of wanted to buy the dress at the store, um, but I, the more I thought about it, the more I really wanted to make her dress. I. Uh, I mentioned that I made her sister's dress, and I do have five daughters, and I thought about it and thought, I want to make all of their wedding dresses. And I even said to her kind of emotionally that if I have six months to live, I would spend the next six months sewing wedding dresses for all my daughters so I could get that as my parting gift. Yeah. And being me, I, you know, a little frustrated that she had this discovery, you know, really late in the game, but at the same time, you know, I love my mom and I was really you know, touched that she cared so much about it, and I knew she could do it. She would made plenty of our dresses before, and I knew, you know, I think I wanted her to make the dress, so she ended up making it with, I think, 11 days before the wedding? 11 days before the wedding, I bought the fabric and started working on the dress. We did Skype with the muslin dress that was over there. We marked it with pins uh, via Skype. Her older sister would tell me where I needed to take it in from the uh, muslin dress that I sent and so then I cut it out of the real fabric and uh, she arrived two days before the wedding for the final finishing touches which I think we finished the dress about two hours before the event started. So but it was perfect? It was perfect. It was actually perfect. It looked absolutely beautiful. It, it, it just fit her stunning. It was just beautiful. She's great. <laughs> And it was really cool. I, you know, saw so many people that I grew up with helped, you know, take care of me growing up and being able to explain, like, hey, my mom made my dress. It was a really cool thing, and uh, especially because she did it in such short a time, it was extra exciting. And um, so I'm just, you know, I'm really happy I decided to make that decision. It was hard. It was kind of scary, but you know, I get to hold on to that forever. Um, but meanwhile, we did have another reception in Virginia, where my husband's from. And I got my dress really, really dirty there because it was an outdoor, beautiful wedding, but it had rained the day before. Yes. Now, this dress would end up being cleaned three times because we had two events in California, and I, being in the business of wedding gown cleaning, we, I cleaned it each time. And then we took it back over to Virginia, and it was pretty, pretty, I don't want to say destroyed. It was really, really filthy after the uh, reception there because of the mud. But... Uh, we were able to clean it. The Allenson lace is delicate and it really holds on to the mud, but um, that is our business. We restored it back to a beautiful condition. So now, if someday she wants to or have her daughter wear it, 
She can. Or she can make a dress in seven days. Seven so she days. Can beat Maybe three time. days. Beat your timing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. but we believe every dress has a story. We'd like to hear your story. 